squirt dip. Hello, creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Now, quick tip videos are designed to focus in like a laser beam on one thing in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials that drone on and on to get to that nugget, that thing you've been struggling with. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. You can create the effect of transparency by lowering the opacity of an element such as text. In this case, when you lower the opacity of text to create the effect of transparency, it gives a lightness or translucency to the objects. In this video, I'll show you how you can lower the opacity or create transparency on text, shapes, and photos. First, let's look at text. If you select text that you've set with your selection tool or the black arrow at the top of your toolbar, you'll see at the top in your options menu, there's a choice for opacity. Here I've created transparency by lowering the opacity from 100% opaque white text to 70% opacity. So you can see the photo now comes through and can be seen through the letters. In addition to the options menu at the top, you can see this in the transparency panel. You can show the transparency panel by coming to Window, Transparency. So with my text selected and now showing the transparency panel in your workspace, I can see the opacity is 70%. So that's how you can lower the opacity to create transparency on text. I can create transparency on the photo as well by lowering the opacity of it. So just like before, with your selection tool, you can select the photo. Then from the transparency panel, you can change it from 100% to something like 50%. Now the photo itself is lighter. If your photo in Illustrator extends off the artboard, it will really show the transparency. But that's only because we have the white of the artboard coming through the image. The image isn't gray, it's just showing the gray background through the photo. Selecting the photo again, I can return to my opacity in the transparency panel and make it 100%. So that's how you can lower the opacity of text and a photo. Lastly, I'll show you how you can lower the opacity to create transparency on shapes. In this example, you can see that this shape at the top is opaque, while this shape at the bottom is translucent. It has a lowered opacity, so the shape is transparent, allowing the smoothie texture to come through it. So just like we did with the text and the photo, all you do is select the shape and then either change the opacity up here in the options menu or in your transparency panel. With it selected, you just modify that percent opacity and here you can make it very transparent by lowering it even further. So in Illustrator, you can change the opacity of text, photos, and shapes with the transparency panel. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like, yeah. share it with your friends, Woo. and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.